first chat. Not exactly first. Banking CBDCs when? They keep saying two to three years. And if that is the case, they're going to be way, way too late. <laughs> okay. Uh, they keep saying they're going to be coming out soon. and I doubt it. Okay. I think it's going to be a case of too little too late. And when it does come, people are already going to be going the other way uh, at this rate. If they were trying to include CBDCs before the recession or before all hell breaks loose... It's way too late. <laughs> okay. It's it's like trying to offer you something new while the the storm is already blowing <laughs> behind you and you're running for it. Mm. Okay. And maybe the uh, the thing they're trying to do is that maybe a life preserver. Here, grab this. You'll float. As uh our banking industry goes down in flames. Okay. Well, let's have a quick look at that. When? I don't want them, personally, because they're going to be crap. But you're going to see them rush it out really quick. They're talking about it all the time. CBDCs. We're coming out with CBDCs, and every country is going to have a CBDC. And they're charging forward, right? That's them. This is us. Like, yeah, okay. It's funny. We got the night of the night of cups again. Emotional. We're like, eh, we're going this way. So a lot of people are kind of, they won't care as much. Because by the time they do bring out, like I was just saying, uh, when they do finally come out with it, it's going to be a little too little too late uh, for, for it at that moment. They are going to be coming out probably in the next year or so. Uh, we got the hermit. So some wisdom comes from behind the scenes and starts giving the proper advice to the people. Okay. And there's, I think it's related to a banking individual who's a good guy for once and he's going to be talking about cbdc's going forward but if they're trying to implement them now i think it's a little too little too little too late uh but they will try as a last ditch effort to protect themselves but it, it's not going to go the way that they were hoping it would okay they're, i believe i'm just getting the feeling that they are in panic mode Okay, so they're just going to be throwing things at everybody, seeing what sticks. Okay, so thank you for that question. What official and actual inflation numbers do you see for us in Europe? Oh. Um, the only one I saw was from the United States. It was nine point something um, in Canada. We have 12 or something. Uh, of course, when they do say 9%, a little bit of history back, back in the day, they had changed the numbers to have them more appealing to the regular folks. So that 9.6% <clears throat> that we had from the U.S. when they brought their numbers out, it's much, much higher. It's double digits. Actually, it's going to be 23, 24% above where it was. In Europe, um, it's probably going to be a little higher, okay, than that. Uh, because, unfortunately, the U.S. dollar is much still strongest at the moment than the euro and all that sort of. That is going to be changing in a little bit because uh, I believe Europe is going to be changing their financial system faster than the U.S. and Canada. 